What's up everybody? This is Jake Martin and today I'm going to be doing a DVD review on this Thomas and Friends DVD. The final Thomas and Friends video from 2015 and that will be Tales on the Rails. So yeah, let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy it. So basically here's what Here's what my copy looks like on DVD. The history on Tales on the Rails, it first came out digitally on November 10th, 2015. Then it came out on DVD on the 24th of November, 2015. Hey, that's one day before the Pixar's movie came out, and came out I think. Or came into theaters, that will be The Good Dinosaur. And less... And then less than a month before... Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens came to theaters. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's the short history. And now let's get into the actual review. So basically, here's what the front of the release look, looks like. <laughs> Sorry. Got the sky, which is... Evening, Thomas and Friends logo tails, tails on the rails, with the, with the shape looking Thomas. With the words on the, in the middle. And yeah. Anyways, you got the field, and the sheep. Getting on. And the sheep, they're, they're probably trying to get on the tracks or something. Anyways, you got Thomas looking happy and Percy looking worried about what's going to happen. And I think they're puffing up the hill. Anyways, here's the front. Here's the spine with the portrait of Thomas from the front. Anyways, here's the back. Thomas Friends logo. Tales of bold, bold and daring adventures. And your blurb, your barcode, your blurb. And you got a picture of Thomas? Hold on. <sighs> Continuing on. Anyways, as I was saying... He... <sighs> My god, do I have to deal with this again? <sighs> I am sick and tired of dealing with distractions today, everyone. <sighs> Somebody's trying to ruin my flippin' video. <sighs> Alright, as I was saying, anyways, you got a picture of Thomas and Salty, kind of looking a bit nervous, which that's a deleted scene from Salty All at Sea, which is on this DVD, but they're looking at the viewers. Anyway, speaking of which, the episodes are Very Important Sheep, Salty All at Sea, Den and Dart, which a lot of people like like to call it, call it Den or Dart, Duck and the Slip Coaches, and Missing Gator. Three episodes from season ni 19, and two episodes from season 18. Which, of course, yes, it's two diff different seasons, and as such, um, since it has three episodes from season 19 and two from season eight 18, um, the three season 19 episodes, they have Thomas voiced by Joseph May, Christopher Ragland as Percy, Rob Rackstraw as James, and Keith Wickham as the Fat Controller. If you watch the three season 19 ep episodes, but if you watch the last two episodes from season 18, it has, it has Martin Sherman voicing Thomas and Percy. And Carrie Shell voicing Sir Topham Hatt and J James. So, yep, this marks the third and final Thomas and Friends video. To not only we have Thomas, James, Percy, and Sir Topham Hatt being voiced by their new voice actors in the three season 19 episodes, but then we go back to their old voice actors as well with the two episodes from season 18. And yeah. So yeah, this is the last time we get to have episodes with two different voice actors on the characters. 
Well, even though, yes, it's two different voice actors from Thomas, James, Percy, and Sir Topham Hatt, all these episodes are narrated by Mark Morgan, because previously on Wild Water Rescue, Illy has won, which is Wild, Wild Water Rescue from Season 19, while um, the Wild Water Rescue DVD has Michael Brandon narrating five episodes from Season 16. Anyway, special bonus features, which is on a ticket, all you need are friends sing-along music video, which, hey, it's, I think it's getting on, I think it's getting put onto DVD again. Um, I think I forgot to, I don't know what DVD, I think I forgot to look up on the wiki to see when the song is taken from, which DVD, so maybe after this video I'll look up on the wiki uh, and then I'll put it in the description. And fun with Driver Perkins, who's on the Heritage Railway. Railway. Anyways, link to the Thomas and Friends website and Universal Studios Entertainment. Legal copyright information down at the bottom. Not rated, and this is 58 minutes. Anyways, here's the disc. And this insert for the new Bob the Builder coming this November 2015 on PBS Kids. Ugh. That reboot of Bob the Builder is a, is a piece of rubbish. <laughs> Just like the Thomas and Friends reboot from two years ago, All Engines Go is garbage. <sighs> Anyways, here's the episode list and the sing-along song, which has engine roll call at the end after the Missing Gator episode is over. It still uses the season 13 through 18 sing-along song, and yeah. So anyways, this is a, this is a nice Thomas and Friends DVD. Since, since, um, since it has two episodes missing from season 18. You know, um, very important sheep where Percy accidentally bumps the livestock car to where you, where the sheep goes in and, and every time he tries to pick up sheep from Farmer McCall and every time he stops at a, at a signal or a water, water tower, um, he didn't realize there was a hole inside the, the livestock car and he didn't notice the sheep was escaping and he didn't wait for the brake van to get coupled and he ends up delivering the empty livestock car to Farmer McColl to a party at a field next to in front of Maithwaite Station <sighs> sorry Yeah, Let's see, it, um, what was I trying to say? Yeah, he didn't know the sheep was getting out of the livestock car, but luckily Thomas was able to get all the sheep before he runs them over, which that would be a terrible disaster. So luckily Thomas stopped just in time Luckily, he did it. He did not run over the sheep, which is good. So instead, he was able to pick the sheep up that are loose and take them to the to the party at Maithwaite. Anyway, Salty all at sea, where Salty is worried about going to the mainland. He tried to work very hard, like like he's been working on the island of Sodor for a long, long time. And he doesn't want to go back to the mainland. Well, he doesn't want to go to the mainland. I don't know. But then... But then he realized what Thomas says. That he hasn't... There was nothing to be scared of something like, uh... Which, uh... Like some kind of squid... Anto 
animal, excuse me, which I'll have to find out what Salty said after the video, then I'll put it in the description. Then he realized it wasn't scary after all, because he has not ride on a boat on a ship. But luckily he did when he was on the way to the mainland. Then he came back to Brandon Docks and yeah. Anyways, Den and Dart, or Den or Dart, where Mavis had an accident and was covered in some kind of stones or slate quarry dust, I, I think so. And then she has to go to the diesel works to be repaired and Dart has to stay to stay at the, the diesel works to get Mavis repaired while Den goes to the quarry to make the trucks get in line, well lined up and make them behave. But however, uh, Den and Dart don't like working from each other separately. Like me, like you know me, I couldn't stand doing multiplication math work at my work at Behavioral Specialist because it could get very frustrating at this point. But with the help of Toby, um, Toby and Hen Henrietta told Den how to be serious with those troublesome trucks just like Mavis was, and Den did. And then Mavis told Dart that that he must I don't know what Mavis told Dart about. I think she was telling her, telling him that that he he should not worry about Den at the same time while he's repairing Mavis. And yeah. And yeah. Anyways, Duck and the Slip Coaches, which introduces us to the Slip Coaches. Which, it's very strange that we saw them earlier in Last Train for Christmas from the Christmas Engine, which I don't have on DVD. But hopefully on, hopefully in November of this year, I'll get it, along with the rest of the Thomas Christmas-related stuffs. And, and you know, it shows flashback when about Doc having the slip coaches and... James makes a excuse that, well, he makes up a lie that, um, the slip coaches weren't ducks, it was his, when it's really ducks, and yet, Duck was able to deliver one of his slip coaches to stop at a station so that it could pick up passengers, and yeah. And drop them off as well. Anyways, Missing Gator, which... Oh yes, Salty All at Sea. Um, Salty... Either Salty or Thomas. I think they have mentioned some previous episodes. Like the Flat Bits of Fear. And Percy and the Monster of Brendam. I think so. And maybe, maybe some other episodes. Anyways... And as for Duck and the Slip Coaches, there is a goof in the episode, which Edward blew Thomas's whistle, which this is the only time he did it in full CGI, because, because in the model series, in some episodes, he used Thomas's whistle sound in the model series, but this is the only time in the CGI series he used Thomas's whistle sound. And I was like, huh? Huh? That, that's strange. Oh well. Anyways, the last episode of Missing Gator, which... Reverend, which, which takes us back to... Tale of the Brave. And you know how Percy misses Gator after he left after Tale of the Brave. So, yeah. This is probably one of the first episodes that we... We see Gator, but he's not on Sodor yet. He was just in his far away. He's just in a far away land in his homeland. And Percy tried his hardest to to stop thinking about Gator while he's doing his jobs. 
but when he when he was at Ulfstick Castle, he realized that he should have been coupled. He didn't. He refused to wait until he was coupled, coupled up to the cars. And then the car started sliding next to a, a tunnel thing, and it was so scary. So Percy had to stop before, before entering the tunnel, and then he has to think about Gator, and he remembered what Gator said. So Percy went inside the dark tunnel or cave to find those cars and get them out of here and deliver them at Brandom Docks. And yeah. So yep. So yeah. So yeah, I say to every Thomas and Friends fan out there, if you don't have Tails on the Rails, rails then where have y'all been? Pick Tails on the Rails on DVD up. And then you'll get a taste out of these um, five episodes. Three from season 19 and two from season 18. But if y'all too... But to any... To any of you guys who has this DVD, then that's good. But if y'all haven't watched it, then... Then... Well, don't just stand there. Just, just give it a watch. And you'll enjoy these episodes. And, Cause I did watch this DVD yesterday and I enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed the Wild Water Rescue DVD, which I forgot to mention in my Wild Water Rescue DVD review that um I did remember watching the Wild Water Rescue DVD last Friday, I think. Yeah, I think so. On, I think January 13th, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. So anyways, but I'm mentioning it here. So anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for this DVD review on Thomas and Friends Tales on the Rails. The final Thomas and Friends video from 2015. Excuse me. Hopefully y'all enjoy it, and I will see you all in the next upload. Take care, y'all. This is Jake Mar Martin, signing out.